Hello guys and welcome. This is gonna be a tutorial about Necromancer and more specifically so-called Blood Mist build. Like how you can do it and is it good? Is it great? Is it like the best? Like uh, I'm gonna give this to you to decide but first I'm just gonna show you how it can play out. As you can see, I just entered in the random dungeon. Uh, specifically, I like this one because you can always get the same layout, which is like a circle around and you just go and farm. Go like this in the circle and farm this type of mobs. But we have here and we're going to get a chance to get legendaries, to get uh, gold to get uh, like anything in the game. Uh, for example, I get three yellow. Oh, sadly, I need to get my skeletons up because they seems to die for some reason. Or I didn't even have them before that. Uh, and pretty much uh, this is how the build works. You just go press, you see a bunch of mobs, press the button for button mist and everything is dead. And you just pick up the loot. So here we go. We pick up the loot and we just continue into the next one. A bunch of mobs here again, pressing board mists, and everything is down. Like this build needs some kind of movement speed because this is the only thing that really drags him down. Because even though uh, I'm gonna talk about it in a bit, I'm gonna show you the spec, I'm gonna show you what exactly. You want to have to make it work, at least from my experience, from what I get. But as you can see, everything is just one shotting. I mean, not one shotting, but everything is just uh, here. I just pull some kind of event. We're going to do it because it gives us like uh, obus. But yeah, you you see on these events, for example, or any events, like how it is it's to play. We just go into the blood miss, into the blood miss. And when we are doing that, we are immortal because when we're in this kind of form, that blood mist give us it says the spy into a blood mist becoming immune for three seconds so pretty much we are not taking any kind of damage so this is great for a world boss as well like blood mist because when he have like some kind of spell that is making you for sure gonna die if you don't dodge it you don't need to carry about it okay see i got legend there you don't need to care about this spell because I'm just going to press Blood Mist, Blood Mist and I'm just going to go into this so-called Gold Mob and I cannot die. Like you see, I'm just spamming this button over and over again. This is what I do. And of course, I'm moving from here and there just to target the mobs so I can kill them. Okay. Is it done? Okay, I think it's done. Now we can get like our purposes. So I can get by with them. Uh, in my first video, I talk about it. Okay, we have 35, which is amazing. And now we're just going to move on into the next kind of trash that we have. Here's some mob. It does matter. Like, for real, it does matter what kind of things are in front of us. I even, like you say, what about if we get Butcher? Like, I get Butcher like four times in a row for some weird work. I get it. Four times in a row, like in a span of one hour, and I just murdered him. Just it's, it's insane how good this one is for farming. Uh, for world boss, I'm gonna say it's not the best build, although you can still play it and you can still do the job, but it's better like pure corpse explosion build from there. Like, as you can see. We make the circle and it took us that time that it took us time just to walk and do this circle. So the build is pretty much involving wood mist and how it is working. Let's see. We have this talent tree uh, where we put these points into decompose if we have to stop and do damage. As you can see, we don't do that. But if we can do that, we just simply gonna slow the enemy to make them more damage. And we're gonna build up our essence uh, so we can spawn bone spears uh, until we are waiting for our gold miss. So pretty much that's it. Uh, from my understanding, this spell, bone splinter, is like the best spell in the game from the 
basic ones it's not just the best player in the game it's just so much overpowered that it can one shot literally anything so you can build just a spec with that but the problem with this one is that you need to stop so you can have to cast it but with this wood misting you don't need to do that so the tree is for with two things and <laughs> As you can see here, I put some points into Bone Spear and I put another points uh, here uh, so I have a better chance to getting corpses and which each corpse when I'm uh, exploding with corpse explosion when I'm inside in Bone Mist, I'm resetting its cooldown because I have legendary for it but after that we're gonna talk about item. So you just uh, put points here and in Bone Spear uh, so we can do some really good damage while we are waiting if we have to wait for blood mist to go down to be off and after that you just need one point here i have two because one of my items is contributing uh, you can see item contribution one and we go for this road on the left side so pretty much uh this one is a must and then we are getting blood mist leaves behind a corpse every one second so even if there is no um, if there is no enemy around me, I'm still gonna reset my cooldown. As you can see, without any enemy, I'm resetting my cool cooldown with eleven seconds. So that's three three corpses that I'm doing. So I need just three mobs to be around me, and I can instantly go from this into this again and again and again, over and over again. So. This spec is pretty insane, that's why we spec into a uh, chance to more corpses. Because uh, let's be honest, uh, we don't really care about anything else. Only thing that we care is we can go into blood mist again and again and again. Now, uh, we're gonna spend uh, as much points as we have. Uh, this is five into the corpse explosion, and then we can go into uh play corpse explosion why because this thing stacks if the enemy is slow this is turn is whatever these bonuses can stack so we can have like up to 30 percent more damage on the corpse explosion and this is of course it's a must it's a 50 percent uh radius increase and uh after that we're gonna put some points here uh this is nothing but just a bit more damage so you deal 12 percent more damage for four seconds after consuming a corpse so <clears throat> when we are consuming corpses all the time we're gonna have this buff like all the time when we are into the blood beast form so here i didn't put any points uh my item giving iron maiden i can put it here uh if i want to but it's good if we have uh let's say our amulet to give uh this spell as well um the creep fight because we can put it on our bar and as we already know that uh vulnerable slow and stunned enemy stacks we can do a bit more damage because this is going to give us 10 percent more damage but the downside is you need to cast that's why i don't put here iron man as well because if I put an Iron Man here as well, I need to cast the spell, right? So this is slowing me down. Like then I go into the board mist form. And I don't want to do that. I just want to press one key and just to run around and everything to die. That's why I don't even have it on my bars. Is it useful? Yes, for sure it is. For the next page, uh, we don't care about it. On the next page we don't care about it either. Like you can put whatever the hell you want to spend your points. The most important thing is that you have max corpse explosion one point into the blood mist one point into the house with blood mist one point into the ghastly blood mist and pretty much that's it and i choose to use bone spear but even if i go here with full i think it's going to be even better because it's not going to be um gathering around uh, like i don't need to get this uh what is it called essence right so i can shoot it but yeah i'm gonna try that uh i didn't play much with it like with this spell but from my understanding it's like really 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 good one and we can spend it all the time but as i said the downsides we need to be on the one place so we can shoot it uh, and i just want to move and do that so pretty much spec it's really easy to play really easy to pull the points in it 
if we're going to the Buto, that's what we want. We want to get some way to get more corpses, more corpses, more uptime of blood mist. So that's why on the <coughs> on the skeleton warriors we go this route. Reapers have a 50% chance to crave a flash of enemies forming a corpse. Like more corpses, more damage, less cooldown, more uptime of blood mist. So on the first skeleton warriors we go that route. On the Skeletal mages, uh, example, example, surprise, surprise, each time a blood mage dies from its own attack, they leave behind a corpse and fortify you for whatever, 11% of your base health. So when a mage dies, we're going to get like a shield. This is the 40. And the most important, we're going to get like corpse that we can explode. So more corpses, more damage. Again, we're going to go into the golem. What is the things that we have each time your bone golem takes up to 20% of its maximum life its damage each shadow corpse so all the mobs that we have around us uh, they have a chance to make us corpse and that is great that's why I went this way and that's why uh, we are able just to simply rush through the dungeons and mobs and kill everything we only need with my current setup, we only need three mobs to be around us so we can reset the bottom mist. So let's go into the items. Like, what is the most important thing for us? Even just this pack works, we need this trait, power, whatever it's called, blood mist triggers corpse explosion on surrounding corpses. What I put in the weapon. Because at first, when I did that, I was thinking, okay, so the spell cooldown is like <clears throat> 20 seconds. Uh, I guess I'm having like some item that is reducing cooldown, so it's like 18.62, uh, but it's 20 seconds. And uh, every time we detonate a corpse, it reduces the cooldown by 2.4 seconds. So we have 2.4 more seconds. Uh, I'm not sure what is the maximum. Probably if it's a 3%. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure what is the maximum to be honest, but it doesn't matter. It, it's on the two-handed weapon because it's double the bonus effect. So for example, if it was on any other item, this 2.4 seconds, it will be 1.2 seconds. So it's double the seconds that is reduced from the cooldown. That's why I'm using it here. Now when I'm thinking and play the spec more, probably the better trade-off will be if I put the uh, increase it uh, damage while we have a barrier on here on the weapon so I can do extra more damage because the damage is really easy anyway but on the other hand where I have uh, less targets it's better if my seconds are more but not uh, my damage from the barrier okay so this is the only item that you need so you can make this pack and make it work but everything else that I'm going to show you now is just extra like we don't have extra damage when when we have like uh, this uh, power uh, damaging an elite enemy against your barrier uh, absorbing whatever damage it says here for 10 seconds like the <clears throat> barrier itself it's not is not in but the thing is that when we have barrier active as i show you here on this legendary uh, we're gonna have increased damage it, it's on the neck because it's give you 50 percent on top of that so we're gonna get extra damage right that's why something that is giving damage or something very important you want to use it as a uh, if it can be printed on neck or on weapon specifically two-handed weapon you want to use it there because two-handed weapon is a hundred percent on the neck is a fifty percent more power that it has so this is the two things that are giving us damage and this is like for the one the spec to work at all and everything else is just whatever right i have here this shield that it can happen every night second that when i'm inside the shield i'm mortal yeah big deal it doesn't matter uh these skills uh deals up 30 per 34 percent decreased damage when you have your primal resource up i have it all the time so there you go i have like this uh more skeletons more hits more chance for corpses more chance to damage that's why i have this and uh <clears throat> i found like uh, i give them more uh, attack speed so 
I'm probably going to use it to put it somewhere, but yeah, that's, uh, I'm going to see where. Uh, one of my rigs uh, have this thing that when I shoot this bone spear, it's pretty much uh, doing more damage. Like, it's make them uh, vulnerable for 2.3 seconds. And these shards that are going back deals uh, 30% more damage to the this kind of targets. And the other thing is blood mist. Like, why do I have this? Because without it, uh, as you can see, the spells what it's saying, that it slows us down when we are using blood mist. So now I'm without this legendary. And you see how slowly I'm walking. Right? But when we are losing this legendary, it said your movement speed is no longer reduced while what miss. This is literally the only reason why I have this, because now I'm just simply moving a bit more faster. Like I'm moving like I'm walking normally. That's the only reason why I have this. So pretty much this is the bit, right? Uh, what we can do better, uh, I think we can go two roads as i said one is just simply to go off bone spear and spend bone uh, splendors make it work that way and i'm gonna try that because this is really really good spell and uh, for the dead slots dead slots i mean the one that are not giving us any damage or any kind of bonus to anything like for example this shield and uh here i don't have anything uh, on these dead slots, we can use something to buff this spell, or you can use the aspect that we have from the codex. We can see all the powers um, when we are hitting, where we are exploding corpses. Oh, if I can find it, where is it? Torn sacrifice. Okay, I cannot find it for some reason. Maybe it's on utilities or maybe it's on resources. I'm not sure, to be honest. But pretty much it, it's somewhere in my stuff. Pretty much when we explode in corpse, it give us a stack that is doing 10% up to 50% more damage to the bone spear. So pretty much we're gonna go into blood mist. We're gonna finish the blood mist. And if we cannot reset it and go again, we're gonna have for the first shot bone spear doing 50% more damage. So this is the one road and the other road is that we can use, as I said, with uh, bone splitters and we can go with the best legendary that give us more damage to this spell. So, this is the spec. It's really insane though. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, you see it in action. And I'm really enjoying it because with the other one that I'm gonna show you, it's way better in a way that doesn't matter if it's single target, it doesn't matter if it's EOE. You're just gonna blast everything. But you need to stop, do the curses, do the corpse explosion yourself, uh, shoot with bone spears for the bosses and stuff. It's a bit slower, but it's way better in terms of damage output. And this one, it's really good uh, when, when we have this kind of levels. Uh, I mean, difficult. This is where everything is just one shot, and you just need to walk through the area so you can one shot every move. So that's why this pack is really great for it. And for this beta, it's, I think it's perfect. So I hope you enjoy this guide. Uh, I try to make it detail, go through the things, and just show you that really you need only two things this to work on the talent tree and just one legendary so you can play this like uh, I'm gonna put a link inside uh, the video description that's gonna lead you uh, to the skill tree as well